this video is part of a series. I recommend watching the previous videos, especially the last one, because we're kind of reviewing some stuff here, but working with the video game Doom. And the first few videos, we worked on the source code. Today, we're looking at the WAD, uh, WAD file, which has a package, which is all the graphics and sounds and all that stuff. And um, last video, hopefully this one's better than that. That was kind of late in the day. I was a little tired. Hopefully we do better with this one. To kind of review, I'm just going to go over some issues you might come up with, uh, come across when you're working with this. So I'm going to go kind of fast, but it's mostly review. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extract my uh, Doom file, whatever Doom WAD file you have. So you're using do text, which you should have installed in the last video. I'm saying uh, dash Doom, because it's not Doom 2, it's a Doom 1 WAD. And I'm telling it where the WAD is, and I'm telling it to extract it. So now if we look at this in the file manager, you can see we have a bunch of folders here uh, containing um, images and sounds and level data data and um, you can also see that we have a log file here and a wad info file which I talked about a little bit in the last video we're gonna look at that again this video but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the find command uh, and I'm going to find it with this and we want to edit a sky texture which I know is called sky. So I'm going to find and look at all the files in the subfolders here for anyone that has the word sky in it. And right here we can see under the patches folder we have one called sky1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up GIMP with that, which is image uh, editing software. And here we have the sky texture from the first uh, couple levels of Doom. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make some changes to it so we can quickly see some changes. So I'm going to say colorize, colors, colorize, hues, and I'm going to make a kind of a red color saturation up and probably turn up the contrast a little bit. There we go. So I can hit control E or go to file export and I'm just going to overwrite the file that already exists. Yes, overwrite, raw when it asks. Come back in here now, what I can do is I can say do text dash make and I'll call my wad file wad1. I'll hit enter. It packages everything we extracted out from the original wad file into a new wad file. And again there's i wad files and then regular wad files which like the one we're creating now is supposed to be an add-on to the original wad file. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run that. I'm going to run PR boom. That's the version of Doom we're running. Tell it which IWAD we're using. Uh, so Doom 1. And again, this particular WAD we just created could be its own IWAD at this point. And then file and what WAD file we want to run. So go into here. And now if I run over to the window, instead of gray mountains, we have red mountains. Same if I go over this way. So we know that changing those work, changing that file. Let's do something else. I'm going to use GIMP again, and I've already downloaded a sky texture. So here's our sky texture, and you know what? It's a much larger resolution than the original sky texture. The original sky texture is 256 by 128. This one is over 3000 by 1800. So why don't we just try to um, overwrite the file? We'll get a higher resolution uh, sky texture. So I'm going to say export as, uh, and I'm going to go to where the file is, which is under um, patches, and it's called sky1. So there it is. I'm going to say export, replace, raw export as it, when it asks. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to again tell, well, first we have to remove it, won't override a WAD file that already exists. So I'll just delete the one we just created, and then I'll say do text dash make one wad and it's going to try here you see it's making patches it's taking a while because this file is this one image file is probably larger than the original doom wad but here we get an error it's saying that the picture's height and that's the one that we're working with it says the name right there is greater than 509 okay so the textures can't be higher than 509 at least not this texture so let's just go back in our image here and we'll say scale image we'll go to height and we'll say 509 scale control e to export and again, we'll try to make our wad. Hey, it made it. So let's go ahead and run PR boom and load up that wad we just created. And if I go here, well, it changed the image, but we have a couple of issues. One, as you can see, it's not blue, it's 
actually kind of gray, all gray and white. And there's definitely a seam in the image. Let's work on the color portion. Well, yeah, let's work on the color portion of that. No, let's work on the seam first. Sorry, need to make up my mind. Well, one thing you might try is you might go, well, GIMP has a seamless feature built in. We'll go to filters and we'll go to map and we'll go to make seamless. And it just kind of just copied and pasted some stuff and made the image seamless. So I'll control E to export that. Again, we'll remove the WAD file that we've created and then we'll recreate it, repack everything. No errors. So now we will run PR boom and load up that WAD file. And let's see. Well, definitely changed it. It's not as drastic of a seam, but there's still a seam there. The reason for that is that the Doom WAD file has, if I go back into our file manager here, you'll see there's a folder called textures. And you might think that the image textures are in there, but when we go in there, there's just actually two text files. And if you look in here, it's just a text file that lists textures and then what they're made of, and it also has the offsets for them and heights and widths. So theoretically you can go in here and adjust that image to be the new resolution. I have not tried that, but theoretically it should work. But what I'm just going to do, because it's not going to really make a difference in the quality of the image, because the sky texture is such a low quality anyway, is I'm going to copy our sky texture and just paste it over the sky texture we have. I can then resize it if I want, like so. I'm going to purposely leave some of the texture outside the bounds of the box. And what I'm going to do next, so we're scaling it down. Right now it's back, the image, if we save it, will be 256 by 128. But it's not seamless anymore because there are image portions that are outside of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Layer, and I'm going to go Layer to Image Scale, and that just trims off all the excess. Now I can go Filter and I can go map seamless. Control E to export that. And if we go back into our shell here, we can again remove our wad, repackage our wad, and run our wad. And if we go here, there we go, we have a seamless texture now. So it's seamless, but we still have the issue of the colors. And the problem here is just Doom doesn't have the range of colors that are in this image and they're so close that they're kind of just being all merged together. So there's a few ways to fix this, but a quick and dirty way to do it is going to contrast here and just turn up the contrast a little bit. Control E to export that. And again, now we'll remove, repack, and run our wad. And if we go over here, we now have a blue sky looks kind of horrible, but that's just the image I'm using. You can touch it up a little bit, but there's how to fix those seamless uh, issues and the coloring issues if your images come up all gray. At least one way of fixing that issue. Okay, so another issue we have, again, if I list this out, you can see our WAD file here is 12 megabytes, and all we did was change one image. And as I mentioned in the last tutorial, we have this WAD info text. And if we open that up, you can see that it's a text file that lists the different categories and what files do text should repackage into the WAD file. Now we could erase everything out and type this by hand, but I've created a function that will take care of all of that for us. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, open up our file manager and I'm going to delete everything but um, patches and our do text log and our wad text, our wad info text. So I'll delete all that. And if I go into patches and search for sky, there's our sky file. I'm going to delete everything but that sky file. Now, if we go back here and we remove our wad one file, which it looks like I already did, if we, well, did I? Oh, right, when we just deleted everything, I did it. Um, if we try to make the WAD file, it's going to give us an error saying there are files missing because we have to update the, the WAD info text. So again, as I said, I have a script that I wrote. Check out the description in the video for the link for the notes. And within that, there's this WAD pack function that I created. 
We'll just copy and paste that into our shell and hit enter. And now if I type in wad pack and hit enter, you can see it outputs the folders, the category, and what file is available. So all we have to do is redirect that into our wad info text. So now if we cat out our wad info text, you can see it's just that. It's saying the category patches and sky. So now when we make our wad and we list it out, instead of being 12 megabytes, it's only 35 kilobytes. And we can now run our wad file just like we did before but without all the excess because all the graphics and stuff are still in the original iWAD file. Again, if you're going to be changing every graphic sound and everything, you'll be creating iWAD files. But if you're just making modifications for the original game, you're going to just create a WAD file and you just want in there what you've changed. And in this case, just our sky texture. So, I hope that all made sense. There was a lot of info, went through it kind of fast, but a lot of it's repeat, and um, I hope you enjoy these tutorials. Next week, I think we're going to look at audio files. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.